One of the latest deaths in the pandemic brings grief for a family and complications for an ongoing corruption case. Former State Senator Martin Sandoval died from the virus. He was a significant figure in at least one high profile federal probe. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live at the Dirksen Federal Building with the legal fallout. Jeremy. And Jim, one of the last high profile appearances for Sandoval was inside the federal building in the area behind us. His death will no doubt have an impact on courtrooms there going forward. As to how much, well, that remains to be seen. I'm ashamed and I'm sorry. I want to apologize to the people of Illinois and to my constituents. Earlier this year, former Illinois State Senator Martin Sandoval pleaded guilty to taking thousands of dollars in bribes and was cooperating with federal prosecutors in a sweeping corruption probe of companies, including ComEd. Handful linked to the energy company accused of influencing and rewarding a powerful state lawmaker in exchange for jobs and contracts. Court documents suggesting Illinois House Speaker Mike Madigan is that lawmaker, but Madigan has not been charged with any criminal wrongdoing and repeatedly denied any involvement. As prosecutors untangle a high profile web of alleged political corruption, what knots does Sandoval's passing leave? in that process. If I were a federal prosecutor, they would concern me because they were hoping that he would be a really good witness for, for the feds on a number of very important cases. Legal analyst Irv Miller saying Sandoval is a key to prosecutors, but not the only key. They don't rely on one individual piece of information or one individual witness. I think it may be a, a piece that they're going to have to uh, work around. In the fall of last year, FBI agents raided Sandoval's office in Springfield and his home in Gage Park. Agents could be seen walking out of the Senate Democrats' office carrying computer equipment, cardboard boxes, and brown paper bags marked evidence. The CBS2 investigators previously reporting investigators were digging into Sandoval's years-long relationship with ComEd and its parent company, Exelon. In a court filing last month, federal prosecutors said Sandoval has been fully compliant with the conditions of his release and has provided valuable cooperation that is expected to last at least several more months. I, I think that uh, it may delay their prosecution, but I don't think it's going to stop any prosecutions. Why should the average person person care about the latest news? Why should the average taxpayer care about this case? We are the ones that are paying for all of this, and we should be concerned because it doesn't seem to stop. Along with the legal fallout, there, of course, is the human element or human fallout. State Senator Selena Villanueva releasing a statement reading in part, quote, COVID-19 is real and continues to devastate our communities. My deepest sympathies go out to Martin's family during their time of loss, end quote. Live in the Loop, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News.